Fabian Lim, a mm. business development manager with Vigalant. Yep. Uh, welcome to Cybersecurity Asia here in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, introduce us to Vigalant. It's a new brand that I haven't heard of, but apparently uh, you're a fresh fresh brand into the market? It is, yeah. We just launched last uh, last month. Great. So VGallon is actually the tech arm of uh, our our uh, parent company, V Capital. Okay. So V Capital is a uh, diversified strategic investment holding. Got it. So we have several divisions. So our primary business is actually capital advisory, capital markets advisory, where yes. we help clients list on NASDAQ. But over the years, we have also been scouting for the best technologies in different divisions. Uh, try to invest in them and also bring it to this part of the world. Now, now I understand what those cool that cool logo is yes. on, on, the, on the hats and the like. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now, yeah. introduce you got us some uh, some secure backup and also uh, a server here with some deep seek uh, AI embedded yeah. on it. Introduce us to what V Galant is trying to to achieve, I suppose, or the gap in the market that you're seeing. Sure, sure. So we try to invest in the best technology, like I mentioned earlier. Um, right now, the uh, V Galant would uh, we offer two products and services in cybersecurity and also in AI GPUs. Got it. So we repackage them and then make it a cyber, into a cybersecurity as a service and also AI as a service. So in terms of the cybersecurity, uh, we provide. Uh, data security and also data protection to prevent cyber attacks, right? Yep. So we do end-to-end, -end. so we prevent cyber attacks, we detect them and then also neutralize them and at the same time we, backed up, uh, we back them up and ensure quick data recovery so to ensure business continuity. Now yeah. it's interesting in terms of the, the business model here, mm. uh, is this something you're doing to your own portfolio uh, as a sort of a investment arm or is this out to the wider market as well? But we, where is your client base uh, sort of a focus? Oh, we are going to, going to the uh, broader market. So in Malaysia, we just launched and then we are already speaking to some of our partners and they are very interested in our pro uh, products. Yeah. So, but the technology are already have a, a, a huge client base. Like even the government is actually using the technology. Yeah. So, which is why we invested in the technology and try to breaking it over to this market. Well, it was yeah. interesting, we had the uh, AI uh, National Office for AI here in Malaysia yesterday. Hmm. So it's very good to see at least uh, an AI driven GPU here it is, yeah. uh, on the floor. Um, where, where's your sort of any market segments that you're focusing on at the moment and particularly the early update of AI, AI, early uptake uh, of AI here locally in Malaysia. Hmm. Yeah, any early market segments that are sort of standing out for you? Uh, for now, we don't limit ourselves to any market segments. So yeah. for any business, uh, especially small businesses, they want to adopt AI yep. into their own business, we can help them. So the, the challenge that businesses face, right, when they want to adopt AI is that they want uh, a privatized LLM, right, which ChatGPT cannot pr produce. But if they were to buy like an AI GPU from abroad, it's gonna cost them uh, a lot of money, right? For, yep. for example, NVIDIA and whatnot, those cost millions of dollars, right? It's, it's not very scalable and they need to hire a team of AI specialists to help them build the, build the model, right? Uh, at the same time, uh, most business owners, they are not so technical, so when they hire those talents, right, it takes time. Like, they don't know what questions to ask, are they asking the right questions, hiring the right people, right? So we, uh, we, our service is designed to solve all of those problems, so we provide a GPU that is, like, comparable to those top tier GPUs yeah. uh, and which already has like a which already has a pre-trained model as powered by DeepSeek uh, engine right Got it. so they don't have to develop the algorithm or develop the software from scratch it's and already they, embedded inside the yeah, AI GPU. and they can use their own data too then right? exactly they have a yeah. bit more control yeah. okay yeah. and so maybe introduce us to the secure backup that looks like an interesting one as well and again, potentially for on-prem, and it does sound like the small business, medium-sized business sector is your target market. Yeah. So, or or any any customers actually, or any clients actually. So you're a true VDM, Fabian, in terms <laughs> of any customer is a exactly. customer. But yeah, yeah, yeah. just uh, introduce us to the backup one. Yeah, because like, why why limit ourselves to a Correct. specific market, right? So our our tagline is to make our technology accessible to, to everyone basically yeah. at, uh, at a very low cost. So uh, in terms of the cybersecurity, so we provide two layers of, uh, of defense. So one is external and one is internal. So for external, we would detect all those malware, ransomware, those viruses, DDoS attack. We would detect them and also neutralize them and mitigate them yeah. so clients won't get attacked. And at the same time, we also provide a very high frequency backup of their data. Very high frequency can go up to every 10 minutes. 
but there's no reason to go lower than 10 minutes to back up every 10 minutes, yeah. right? Um, so, uh, so those data, those back, uh, data that gets backed up are also encrypted by our proprietary military grade chip. Yeah. So actual militaries are actually using them. So businesses can feel safe, like having like a, such a high grade, high grade protection at a very low cost, basically. Very good. So those data that gets encrypted, even though the virus that uh, get backed up, they don't have to worry that virus uh, getting backed up would contaminate their other, uh, other data because with encryption, the virus would also get encrypted. So the virus would get deformed and no longer okay. become a uh, virus anymore. I did see the architecture yesterday. Uh, very interesting in, in, t in terms of that approach. Mm -hmm. um, how can we find out more? Uh, given you're a brand new company, I wouldn't even know what the website is. Uh, Fabian, sure, what is sure. It? You can go on to uh, vgallant.ai. That's a V G A L L A N T dot A I. Well, we'll have some overlays here, maybe get the copy of this video. Sure. But Fabian Lin, Business Development Manager with V Gallant, mm. uh, in, here in Kuala Lumpur at the Cybersecurity Asia Conference. Thank you so much and well done for being almost a market launch here at CSA. Thank you. Thanks so much, Chris.